Dokies and Dilip here back with another OBS tutorial and this is another one this is another incredible kind of plugin well it's not a plugin it's more of a look package loot look let I don't know you guys all pronounce it differently I go with look in it I don't know do you want to correct me in the comments just then do it but if you want to turn your cam or anything that you're streaming into something like Predator Vision. <laughs> then you're going to find out exactly how to do that, all right? So let's just get into it. Put your rock on the stone. Let's go. So there's quite a few LUTs out there, it improves the look of your webcam and stuff like that, but I've not actually seen too many LUTs that kind of really make your camera stand out a little bit. If you guys know like any repositories or anything like that where there's any of this sort of stuff online, I'd love to kind of deep dive more into this sort of stuff because they, they are so cool. Like this one, Fleur Light Look Gradients for OBS Studio Filters. This is by Suslick V. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. There, there's not just the Predator one. There, there are different ones. He's added this new Ice and Cream Gradient as well. And there's also this one that looks like a Fleur, like a, an IR camera, which is pretty, pretty cool. So to get this, we just hit the download button. After you download it as well, guys, make sure you do leave a rating. It's always nice to, to share the love, isn't it? You can download each one. So I'm, I'm, you can just press download on all three of these. I've actually got them in a folder ready to go. So if I go into here, you'll be able to see I've got IR, the ice cream, and the Predator one. I'll bang them on my desktop. So I usually like to make sure we put them into your OBS folder because when you open up apply uh, a lot, then it'll automatically open this folder so you don't have to navigate every time you do it. It's good habit to get into. So this is where you need to get, copy them to. So I'm going to cut them now and we're going to go to the PC and then go into your C drive and then, well, wherever your OBS folder is. By Naturally, it should be in program files or program files 86. So program files, and then I'm going to go OBS-Studio, all lowercase, and go data, uh, then OBS plugins, and then further down, you should see OBS-filters. Again, all lowercase, and you'll see LUTs just in there. We can paste them directly into there, and we're good to go. I've already got mine in ready to go there, as you can see. The IR, IR ice cream, and IR predator just here, they're all good to go. So I can delete those now if I want to. Uh, and jump into OBS. So we've got my stream ju just here. We can put this on anything. It doesn't have to be on a camera. But if I right click on the main cam, which is this one, as you can see just here, right click on it and go to filters. All we got to do is press the plus sign, go all the way to the top to apply look. You'll see it. I'm just going to leave it as apply look for now. That'll be fine. And press browse and you'll see it opens this folder automatically the one that we save these looks to so it just saves you having to navigate around your folders all the time which honest it'll just it's a godsend so we can open up the predator one now and you'll see the camera has gone all predatorified which is I, I honestly love this i think i think it's so cool it's not very resource intensive or anything like that it's really nice you can obviously turn it down a little bit to get a different kind of look as well um so you can play around with the amount which is really cool obviously you've got the other ones as well so if we press browse and go to the ice cream one this one's quite nice as well like some really cool effects that you can get with the camera and depending on how creative you are with it you can get some really cool like uh, I mean, that actually looks like a quite a vintage film, doesn't it? Which is quite nice. Uh, browse, and we'll look at the infrared one. I really like this one. I even just like it as a, a little tonal color like that, just to, to add a bit of tone to, to, to the camera as well, which is really nice. Uh, but we crank it up, and we get that full kind of almost infrared -y look. Obviously, it's not, but it's a very close match uh, to say that it's not actually using an IR camera at all, which I totally love. Uh, and we can turn it on and off with a filter. Again, using the filter, you can use a hotkey if you need to. If you want to see my video on how to add a hotkey, uh, you'll be able to learn how to do that. You can obviously use the Orin Board Touch Portal and all that sort of stuff to, to trigger this on and off. You could even get it to animate in with a Move Value filter. So if you've got the Move Transition plugin, you can do a Move Value, for instance. Uh, select the filter, which is Apply Look, just here. And we're going to choose the setting of amount and we'll say set it to one. Because uh, if we get value, uh, that is uh, one's full. So if I turn it all the way down to zero now uh, and turn this on, it'll kind of animate in. So if I make that a little bit longer, 
I'll say like, I don't know, 3000. I'm gonna turn the easing off. There's so many different settings that you can do with this. Uh, turn it down to zero. And if I turn this uh, the visibility on, look how cool this will look. So it kind of fades in there, which is really awesome. Uh, obviously, mine takes a little bit of a hit due to obviously uh, doing a lot of recording and stuff at the same time. My PC does not handle it very well. I mean, you can add it to any source as well, which is really, really nice. So if I go to like, say, my uh, game screen or something like that. So if I go to, say, monitor... Um, and you'll see it is actually blurred out here. So I'm going to go to this one here. If I want to add it to the whole scene, for instance, I just add that same apply look. And there's a lot of different ones out there that you can get. There's diff different ones that to do different things. Like you've got some that will already be here as well. Um, so if we apply the IR now, it applies it to the whole scene, which is, again, really cool. Uh, it's just one of those things. Guys, just play around with it. Like it'll just add a little another dynamic to your stream. And that's pretty much all there is to this one. It's not really a plugin as such, so I don't know. I'm not sure why it's under OBS plugins. Like, mind you, it's not a script or a theme either. Um, so d d I don't know. I don't know what you'd really uh, call it. But if you guys know of anywhere else that have got a load of default looks and stuff like that that you'd want me to cover on the channel, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely get around to doing that because I'm always about experimenting with different things to create different effects. Uh, I know I do a lot of videos on shaders and stuff, but I'd love to cover this sort of stuff as well. Uh, you guys have been asking for like some basic OBS setting videos as well, which I, I think I might get around to. But to be honest, my, my OBS is set up like trash. <laughs> Because just do as I say, not as I do. You know what I mean? I'm like a parent, all right? Do as I say, not as I do, yeah? But just how it is. All right, and on that bombshell, we'll uh, crack on and hopefully we'll see you in another video. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or channel membership or just press subscribe or visit me on Twitch. Do whatever you want to do to support me, okay, guys? Put your rock into the stone. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.